Uh, hi all. Uh, today we are going to talk about Rabix. Uh, my name is uh, Janko Simonovic and I'm a lead engineer on the Rabix executor from Seven Bridges. Uh, internally, and the cool name Bunny, maybe you heard it. Uh, Seven Bridges has uh, supported and worked on CWL since its beginning in 2014, also on BOSC. I'm, I think we started also on BOSC, if I'm not mistaken. And today uh, I'm going to talk. Since this will be like a short talk, I'm, I'm going to talk about the Rabbix executor. Uh, after that, uh, Ivan's going to talk, uh, talk about Rabbix Composer and two libraries that we extensively use in the Rabbix Composer. Okay, so Rabbit executor, uh, sorry, Rabbix executor. Uh, I'm going to talk about the architecture briefly, about the protocols that we support, the algorithm, and some other features if we have enough time. Uh, the definition, if you go to our GitHub page, you will see that it says that the Rabbix is an open source development kit for the common workflow language from Seven Bridges. One of its comp comp uh, components is the Rabbix executor or Bunny, we, uh, which can be used to execute applications locally from the command line. And that's true, but that's actually not the definition. That's actually, uh, that, that says what kind of build we have released so far, officially released so far. So. So actually, we released just a local bunny. The architecture of, uh, uh, let's, let's define the, the definition like <laughs> better, right? Uh, the architecture of bunny is that actually, uh, bunny is a set of modules which can be combined in different ways uh, to uh, create different builds for different types of architecture, even the hybrid ones. So when someone asks me uh, what is Rabbix Executor or Bunny, I just say that the Rabbix Executor is an open source project designed to enable scalable and reproducible analysis of portable workflows, which is available on GitHub. So this is how the architecture looks like. So actually, you can, you can see the three layers. Uh, the first layer is a layer of frontends. Actually, for local Rabbix, we use the Rabbix CLI, right? But we have the REST APIs. We use Rabbix internally in Seven Bridges as well. So we have different kinds of um, frontends. The engine is the main component that crunches the data, actually, and abstracts uh, the protocol. We'll see uh, later how we do that. And of course, we have backends, different kinds of backends. We'll see again later. So I'm going to define just briefly uh, the major modules uh, that, that uh, we have, actually. So the first module is the engine. Engine crunches the protocol-specific payloads a payload and finds runnable jobs. Those runnable jobs are being sent to backends. So uh, the, the main module is actually the executor, or you can see it like a worker, right? Uh, that at the end, uh, the end of the architecture actually executes the runnable jobs. For uh, so, in terms in common workflow language, uh, runnable jobs are command line tools and expression tools. Bindings is a library that abstracts the protocol-specific details. So we use it uh, in many places, we will see later, uh, because we are reusing the same code for every protocol that we support. Backend API is a module that says, like, if you want to support additional backend, you have to implement the backend API. And the CLI is just the front-end for our local Rabbix uh, executor. So it's just a command line interface. So this is like a like really complicated right um, picture uh, how how it looks like. So where we use bindings actually, we use bindings on the front end to abstract the protocol specific data on the engine to convert it from the protocol specific payload into the directed acyclic multigraph, and on the back end to reuse the same code for executing command line tools and expression tools. And in terms of Rabbix, what is a backend? Backend executes jobs received from the, from the engine. Uh, multiple backends can be registered to the same engine. And we have different types of backends. So local, uh, as I said, uh, sc many schedulers are for, for cluster environment and for cloud, right? AWS, Google Cloud, uh, even on mobile phones and tablets. So we played a bit, so we have uh, executors on a mobile phone that execute just expression tools yeah, to see how it, to see that actually that we support hybrid architectures. So for now, we have support for a GA4GH task execution API, IBM LSF and Slurm. 
but we offload right the execution in AWS and Google Cloud uh, via GA4GH task executor execution API. Uh, the communication between the backend uh, and the engine uh, is done via queues. So uh, many different types of queues. For now, we actually have support for local like in memory queues. RabbitMQ and ActiveMQ, but everything that can be abstracted, like in the terms of Q, we can we can actually use that. And this is the picture that uh, the diagram that uh, combines uh, the modules uh, for the local Rabbix. So actually, we combine the engine module with one executor or one worker without scheduler, right? Uh, and uh, you can see the communication is done via in-memory queues and the CLI, and everything is in the same process. Uh, and runs on the same JVM. Uh, you can see the similarity between this, this diagram and this one here, because again, this is a, distribu a distributed Rabbix executor where we deploy the engine as a separate process, scheduler as a separate co a comp a com component. Uh, the communication is done via RabbitMQ queues. The front end can be anything, REST API or just GUI uh, or Rabbix Composer, how we, like yesterday we integrated it. Uh, on a hackathon on a code fest, and of course, scheduler can um, uh, allocate many workers uh, if it needs to. And for GA4GH uh, task execution um, API, uh, we actually did another thing where we deployed the an uh, the engine. Oh, sorry, this is a <laughs> mistake here. So actually, the engine with the scheduler, uh, the the right one is actually a scheduler with the scheduler in the same process. Sorry again for. <laughs> the diagram, and uh, they talk actually uh, well in memory queues, and it's deployed as a, uh, as a one component because we wanted to uh, not, not to use the RabbitMQ as a separate, you know, uh, as a separate entity, just like talk in the same process. Uh, the front end is a, the another component, and of course uh, the engine, again, with the scheduler bundled, is sending runnable jobs to many workers. Uh, for the protocols that we support, uh, we support common workflow language. Um, we started with a draft one in 2014, if I'm not mistaken, but now we support draft two, uh, draft with seven bridges flavor, draft three, uh, v, uh, v1, and including v1.0.1 uh, errata that we actually passed yesterday. Of, co uh, of course, we have uh, uh, the extensibility. So ac actually, if you need to um, support another protocol, you need to implement the bindings uh, API. And we actually played a bit with that. Uh, we have support for some like mock protocols that we actually uh, played with it. And again, with Will, uh, we tried to uh, run Will tools and we succeeded in some cases. Um, and a uh, very interesting thing is that we support the protocol mix. So you can actually use different kinds of tool in the same payload. Uh, because we again use bindings library for abstracting the protocol that we are executing. Uh, that abstraction actually happens on the engine. When you send the payload uh, with the tools that needs to be uh, that need to be run, uh, we are doing the validation and translation on the engine side. So we are translating the whole payload into directed acyclic multigraph, and that's actually uh, that is. Uh, we saw actually that that has many benefits because uh, we are reusing the same optimization over the abstracted directed multigraph. So uh, we are um, oh, sorry, we are solving the problems with the nested workflows. Uh, then uh, you know that in CWL graphs have uh, tendency to change uh, when we are uh, executing the uh, nodes that can be scattered, and again with transformations. When I say problems, I mean actually. If you look at this, this diagram, many, many executors uh, need to wait in the, in the middle. You can see the nested workflow. So many executors, if the tool or the application A completes, um, the whole execution is being blocked until the application B is being run. So we are overcoming that problem with our algorithm, uh, with a, some look ahead strategy. I think that we don't have enough time to talk about it, but I'll be uh, happy to answer you all the questions after the session. 
So uh, we can actually continue the execution from the application A to the application C if that's possible and not to wait for the application B to complete. Again, the same, the similar algorithm, uh, algorithm is being reused for executing the scatter nodes. So when you scatter a node, we create the scatter wrapper node. And you can see the similarities between this diagram and the previous one, where you actually, the scatter node is some, some kind of like a container node. So if uh, A0, the parallelized A tool, if it's finished, then we can again continue the execution and scatter again uh, if, that's, if that is possible, not to wait for every parallelized node to complete. And other features of Rebix Executor and Bunny, so we have a concept of event processors and event like uh, hand, uh, processing where um, inside the Rebix Executor we are doing some sort of like sharding, every event processor has uh, its portion of task that is being executed. So we are able to scale uh, vertically and again to scale horizontally as well. Uh, we have resilience and failover mechanisms and persistence. We, for now, we have support for PostgreSQL, but we, uh, again, we have uh, the abstract modu uh, module that actually you need to implement in order to uh, support many different kinds of um, persistence, <laughs> different kinds of persistence, right? Um, and uh, as for metrics, I actually did uh, uh, for this presentation, uh, again, some low tasks with like thousand root jobs or tasks on my own uh, laptop with a, with a mock worker where we immediately return the completed uh, jobs data. The setup is uh, with persistence enabled, so with PostgreSQL and RabbitMQ and Engine, the real engine, and the mock workers on the same machine uh, with uh, my MacBook Pro with eight cores and eight event processors. So we ran actually whole genome analysis uh, with uh, 128 leaf nodes, leaf jobs. When I said, uh, say leaf jobs, I think about command line tools, uh, parallelized command line tools, and expression tools, so the tools that need to be run, right? Uh, so uh, the statistics is around seven, uh, 77 jobs per second. The engine is sounding to, to the register backends. And for Varscan, with 163 leave jobs, it's around uh, 113 jobs per second, and the whole execution of 1,000 uh, tasks for whole genome is actu actually lasts for 27 minutes and 45 seconds, and for Varscan, 24 minutes and 8 seconds. Uh, that's everything for me. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us during the session or after. Now, Ivan's going to talk about the Rapix Composer. Thank you.